knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. Is God good of the Bible? Is the God of the Bible good or evil? What does the Bible say? God is both good and evil. For God is the creator of both good and evil. God made all things. All people say, well, what about this? God's all love. God's love, love. That's all God is, is love. All those people that go around, love, 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 are usually the first ones to go when crap hits the fan because their minds cannot handle what's going on around them. Um, try to explain it. See, if God is the creator of all things and has the knowledge of both good and evil, I'm talking about knowledge, there are different kinds of knowledge. See, I can tell you how to lay a brick, I can draw diagrams of how to lay a brick. You can read all you want to about laying a brick. You can watch me lay bricks. But until you pick up a brick and a trowel and actually lay bricks, you don't know how to lay bricks. Um, I've tried to explain this one before. You know, two sides to each coin. You have no progress, no growth, no time without the opposite, decay. You have no growth without the decay. If, if the plants didn't die or, you know, and decay, there'd be no nutrients in the ground to feed the future plants. You didn't have a fire in the forest once in a while. The forest would get overgrown. Choke out some of the wildlife. But you don't want the whole forest to burn down, obviously. Um, blessings and curses in the Bible. Blessings are things that you receive by being what you do. And curses are things you receive by being what you do. Are you what you do? Or do you do what you should? Be omnipresent, omnipotent, omnipowerful, omni. Just be all things. All things. Good and evil. And now we see the separation in this physical realm. Up in here. You see this, Satan, Christ, constant and eternal struggle, good against evil. The struggle is a process of just living, just living. There's evil in everyone. We all have evil in us. We are all sinners born that way. There is also great good that can come from us. The choice, then, lies still in here. It doesn't matter your circumstances, what's happened to you. 
It's how you respond to those circumstances. It's what you do about it. Apathy is, is also a sin. They're screwing up our world, people. If they don't get this stuff under control soon, the radiation, with all this crap they're spraying in the skies, and the imperialistic regime taking over, it doesn't get under control soon. There ain't going to be much left. We don't want to argue about petty little things, whether we believe in this or believe in that. No matter what you believe. It's what you do about your beliefs. Peace, love, and understanding be with you all. And have a good day.